the uh, massive amounts of affidavits that we see in these cases uh, show that there was, in fact, fraud that took place. You know, transparency is so important to our democracy and and getting answer to these questions that have been raised is is very important for the legitimacy of the presidency. 近日，美国联邦选举委员会主席特瑞纳再度公开表示，美国所谓主流媒体报道的总统当选人拜登还存在着执政合法性的问题，因为被大量提出的选举舞弊问题尚未厘清。民主党总统候选人拜登在这种情况下依然不断推进他的团队入主白宫。As Secretary of State, I nominate Tony Blinken. He's one of the better prepared for this job. No one's better prepared, in my view. As Secretary for Homeland Security, I nominate Alejandro Mayorkas. This is one of the hardest jobs in government. 截至美东时间二十四号，拜登已宣布多项预定的官员人选，包括让布林肯为国务卿，苏利文为白宫国安顾问，马约卡斯当国土安全部长，海恩斯当国家情报总监，以及任命凯瑞为总统气候变迁特使等。这些人选大多都曾担任民主党执政时期的白宫要员，如布林肯时任美国总统奥巴马的副国务卿，苏利文时任美国国务卿希拉瑞倚重的幕僚顾问，海恩斯时任美国总统奥巴马的中央情报局副局长，凯瑞也当过前总统奥巴马的国务卿。其中，苏利文曾被危机解密文件披露，在给希拉瑞的电子邮件中支持主张美国抛弃台湾盟友，换取中共免除美国债务的做法，被台湾网友热议。I don't want to speculate. I know some of these folks. They took a very different view. They lived in a bit of a fantasy world. I hope they'll see the things that we have done, and how this has delivered greater peace in the Middle East. How it's reduced risk from North Korea, where we took down what was a very tense situation when we came off into office. Whether it's the central recognition of the Chinese Communist Party as a true threat to jobs all across America. 美国国务卿蓬佩奥二十四号在接受美国福斯新闻采访时，对拜登提出的内阁成员发表了看法与建议，其中强调他们应该注意，美国仍然面临中国共产党的威胁。新唐人亚太电视张瑞珍综合报道。